All right, let's get this fucking going, bubs. We can't just get it fucking going. With that going on, I mean, I want to fucking... My whole thing was to take this serious, make the best podcast that, you know, there's ever been. And every fucking time we go to do it, this is what's happening. Well, Ricky's wake- fucking passed out with a goddamn lampshade on his head. Well, wake him up. Rick. I tried to wake him up. Well, let's just start it then. He's not going to... For fuck's sake, Bob's. Ricky! Rick. Ricky. Rick. Christ, man. Will you settle the fuck down? What the fuck is going on? We're doing a podcast. What, what are you wearing? What are those? Jesus Christ. What the fuck happened last night, boys? He doesn't even know he's got them on. I know he doesn't. You were fucked last night, okay? Ricky, I want you to take this a little more serious. All right. Podcast. Okay, first thing I want to get to, oh, fuck, right there. Look at the Leckerman's Old Dirty Canadian Whiskey. That's one of our new sponsors right there, sponsors. boys. It's beautiful bottle. And it's our whiskey. Look, there I am. <laughs> Look at that, Julian, me and Ricky. Got our own liquor, so we're sponsoring ourselves now. It's a fucking dirty, sassy liquor. Two, just good. available. Right now, only available in Newfoundland and Labrador. Yeah, I've been working on contracts with the other liquor corporation stuff across the country, you know. So hopefully we will be in stores everywhere. How long, and, have, how long have you guys been on my fucking trailer doing this shit? What? I'm, what a is while. It? You just come in here and you start doing your fucking little... Well, it's under contract. we got to do it, man. Okay? We've got sponsors. we got to meet their demands. We just met this demand. We mentioned, you know, trailer park boys. Leckermans. That's the contract we have with our Leckermans. Staff. Is that a fucking cold beer? Where? Oh, Bubbles, thank you. You fucking made just save me, my friend. My oh, mouth is so fucking dry, it's like a fucking desert snow blizzard. Should we have, like, a little intro to this? Come sure. On. All right, what's going on, you fuckers? This is podcast. You don't talk to the camera, so, in a podcast. We're just... We're just here, hanging out. Forget All right. The well, okay. welcome to episode number 11. Or Ricky 12. and Bubbles. When the fuck is our it's microphones a... going to be back? They got delayed. They're still over in Europe. They got left behind, but I... Where? Located them, and they're being shipped. What the fuck? Where? The microphones are in Helsinki right now. Remember, we did the podcast. Yeah, I remember Helsinki. I thought you said fucking Europe. I did say Europe. Okay. Where do you figure Helsinki is, Ricky? Finlandia. Finland, yes. And where do you figure that is? Any idea? It's in Europe. Seriously? Yes. He doesn't even know we were in Jesse's. So we're like Sunnyvale, Nova Scotia, Canada, then what? North America. Fuck! Okay, now I get it. Now I fucking get it. He doesn't get it, man. He doesn't <sighs> guarantee he doesn't fucking get it. Good <sighs> morning, boys. So, yes, Ricky, I was just saying how we got a new sponsor here. Oh, yeah? Lackermans. Yeah. That's one of the new ones. We still, you know. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What? what? I just had a flashback from last night before I went to bed. What was what? it? Big fucking fight with Lucy. A fight with Lucy? Yeah. What happened? Well, I fucking was going to bed and one thing led another or... Blocks may or not have been getting put to somebody, and all of a sudden I thought I heard Wacky, not Ricky. Wacky? That's what it sounded like to me. And I started looking at these fucking pictures on the wall, and the more I looked at it, I'm going, hmm, who the fuck is that? Lucy, Lucy said, you're fucking a lunatic? I bought some fucking frames. I didn't put any pictures in them yet. This is a fucking model that came in the frames. These you guys are- tell me, is that a fucking model that works for a fucking... Frame company. Oh, is man. It's Michael Wackerly from right. Dragon's Den, the guy that sponsors us. That's what I fucking thought. She's saying, oh, no, you're a fucking psycho. You're fucking nuts. That's just from the <laughs> photo company. Lucy had these up on the wall? Pictures of whack? I'm she pretty was, sure she said wacky. And she was staring at them as she, as you were putting the blogs to her. Rookie. She's pretending it's Wackerly banging her. 
Huh? Not you banging her. For real. No, who would you probably want to rather bang? Huh? Exactly. I Ricky, I'm not. What you, that's just a stupid question. Don't ask me that, Ricky. I wouldn't rather bang either one of you. Two dudes. Well, suppose you weren't a dude and you were. Well, so, if I was a lady, I mean, he's a good looking fella. Suppose you're like this hot fucking chick. Perfect body. Who I was? Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with either one. You're walking to a bar and you have two options here. What's gonna happen? I'd just marry a rich guy from somewhere. You'd marry exotic. a rich wall. He's got some fucking, cash. Oh, I'm on Dragon's Tank. I'm fucking rich. Fucking on all the women Dragon's all over the world. Dead, Ricky. Fantasizing about me here. Dragon's Shark Tank, Dan. not Dragon's well, Tank. It's probably Shark not Dan. all women from around the world. We definitely know that Lucy's fantasizing about him as you're putting the plans. Oh, it must be nice to be so fucking. Great and cool and sexy. That's all I can say. I'm fucking jealous and wish my fucking picture was on your girlfriend's fucking wall and she's saying it's just some model from a fucking frame company. Well, she thinks he's sexy, obviously, and so do you because you just said he was sexy. We were supposed to talk about, you know, him being a sponsor. We weren't really supposed to talk about how, how Lucy wants to fucking bang him. And how sexy Ricky thinks he is. I never said that. Okay, you just said he was sent me a fucking burger that hangs on my wall. I would want those. I'd fucking eat the shit out of that right now for breakfast. I'm fucking starving. What, a wall burger? Yeah. <laughs> burger that hangs on my wall. Marky Mark. It's a friendly bunch. Jesus, Ricky. Ricky, you can't fuck up all the sponsors' names. Wall burger, it's not a fucking burger. Yeah, everyone knows what I'm fucking mean at this point. You know what? People now know how my brain works. They get No, it. they don't. Scientists no, they don't. don't. Even no. though. All right, so I'm awake. Barely. Oh, and I didn't tell you this, but we might, we might be able to get this guy to sponsor us. You know, advanced nutrients. Oh, fuck off right now! Don't even tease me with that shit, Big Mike. Talking to Big Mike. <laughs> and if we get it, if he comes on board, holy fuck, Ricky, you're gonna have all the fucking, all the growing oh. materials you could ever want. I could save me a shit dud. Save the contract work to me, okay? If he says to sign something, you let me take care yeah, of it. You don't know shit about that stuff, man. I that know everything about awesome. that shit. We don't right have now. them yet. Well, but Big Mike, Vance Nutrients is looking into it. I will be talking to Big Mike. We'll set up something. Yeah, I bet deal. you will. You're probably thinking, oh, I'm Big Mike. This guy I want to talk to. He's big. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> so, here we are. Breakfast champions. These are good fucking chips, man. Okay, so look, I just put together some fun facts here that I thought we could talk about. Fuck right. off. What, you don't want to talk about fun facts? It depends how fun they are. I was looking these up baked, Ricky. Tell me what you think of this. Just a sec, speaking of baked, Ricky. Why the you fuck Rick, do I have a lampshade on my head? I don't know, do you have something we can uh, fire up right now? Cause... As a matter of fact, I do. Looks Thank like you the joint roll before bed did not get ignited. Because this, uh, this whole podcast thing is boring the fuck out of me right now. Ricky, you got to stop smoking joints in bed. All right, here, you got to smoke that. I'll smoke it. I don't care. That's how people die, Ricky. Smoking joints in bed. You can't pass, pass out if you're smoking a joint, Ricky. I'll put lampshades on my head when I fucking go to sleep. You put the lampshade on your head, man. You don't remember running around kicking fucking windows in? I'm lampy. Hey, I'm lampy lamp. No, no. That's what you were saying. Lamp man, lampy lamp. You had about 15 different lamp names you were calling yourself. What are these little fucking things? Actually, we can't say, can we? Because they're not a sponsor. What are they? I don't know, but they're chocolate eggs. Pretty fucking delicious. Okay, listen to this one, boys. What? When it rains, yes. fire ants use their bodies to link up into a raft, mm -hmm. and they float the queen in the larvae until the water retreats. Bullshit. I, I can see that happening. Bring it's all bullshit. No, it's not bullshit, Ricky. It's a fact. People aren't even smart enough to do that shit. Think a big raid comes, a big wave comes, they'll go, ah, they scream, they all run away. So they link it up and carry it away the women and children. It's a good idea if it was the ants that thought of it. It was pretty fucking cool, man. Like, do you know how many ants there is on this planet? There's a lot of them. Like, they're doing something right. And they're linking up to Last save the, the queen. There was it's, quite a few. Yeah, well, there you go, man. You they're team players. Ants. I counted the ants in my yard, and then I 
multiply that by all the arids of the world. They live underground, most of them, man. They're just up on up in the surface trying to get some Ricky, food. how Ricky. did you count all the ants in your yard? It took a while, let me tell you. But fucking eight joints in two and a half days. I know, but how did you know you weren't recounting? 2,758. Yeah, but how do you know each one was individual? Maybe one guy went in a hole and popped up I over here. I tried to mark them with little blue paint dots. I don't know if I got every one of them, but... Every time I saw an ant after that with a little blue paint on, I was back in not to count. Like, how many people out there have that much time they can spend the whole afternoon fucking counting ants? On I was doing land? it with my kids. That it was is actually fucked. a great afternoon to spend with your kids. It's Count the ants in your fucking yard, mark them blue paint. Good, you... good fucking bonding time. What were you putting the paint on them with? Just a little paintbrush. Was... I found a little out ant sized paintbrush. I found out afterwards the paint killed most of them. It was oil paint. But... Jesus Christ, Ricky. So, so you if you ever want to kill your ants in your house, oil paint works. Yeah, if you ever want to kill ants, just follow them around with a miniature paintbrush with oil paint on it and put a dot on them and let them suffer to death. Ricky. Better get fuck ants. Kill them. I hate them. You want to fuck some ants? No, it's the fuck with the ants. Ants are nice. How are ants nice? Well, they don't, they don't do anything. They, do they eat mosquitoes? They don't. They might. I don't know. They, they don't. They could probably them. gang up a one. How would an ant eat a mosquito, Ricky? Some of them fly. I've seen them. Well, those aren't exactly ants. Those are piss ants. Piss ants? Piss they're, ants are the flying ants with the wings. They're not called piss ants. They're fucking called they're piss ants. ants. Piss ants. Oh, my God. I'm glad that I didn't smoke that before bed last night. It's uh, quite a little number. Yeah. Uh, do you have any more fun facts? Yeah, or we're just going to yes, talk about I do. Fun. I do have fun facts here. Around. I got fun facts fucking galore. Well, a human skeleton was found in Six a couch. Six pounds. Oh. What? Six pounds? I thought you were going to ask how much it weighed. Six pounds? How do you know how much a skeleton weighs, Ricky? It's just a guess, actually. Well, it is six pounds. So now I'm starting to wonder. That's amazing. How you know that? Well, because it was probably baked, and somebody told me, and once you're baked and someone tells you some shit, sometimes it just sticks like fucking Boston butter. Boston butter. Okay. What's, uh, let's just keep going. What is this? There's a skeleton found in a, in a sofa. Somebody found a skeleton in a couch left on the side of the highway. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Was it a hide-a-bed or just a normal couch? See, that's a pretty good question. I wasn't expecting that. Does it make a difference, Ricky? <laughs> I wonder if people are like actually actually using that sofa. They would, you know, cruise over. I was just thinking. Just wait, I want to know why Ricky asked that. Because <laughs> a lot of people fuck up sometimes. They're sleeping on it, goes down, folds back. <laughs> Here, take that. They might the end fuck? up in the what bed. No one knew about them. Fuck. <laughs> Ricky, I'm too fucked up again, boys. What? You can't come over here breakfast. Do that. Feed me joints. Roll and something beer. normal. Fucked. Roll something normal that's not gonna tick our heads off. Are you fucking kidding, kidding me? Always wearing sunglasses, or that just I just put them on because you're freaking me out a little bit. Wait a second. So you think maybe somebody was laying on the bed and they got accidentally folded inside? Yeah. And something ate the whole body except the head, <laughs> or it just rotted, Ricky. Ricky, don't you think? Jesus! I mean, if somebody, you know, got trapped in their hide of bed. Okay. I don't know if that's what happened. Maybe somebody just dropped a skull on a fucking couch and someone found it. No, they found a skeleton, not a head. Okay, so that makes sense. So someone did get folded up in the fucking thing and they rotted to death and then somebody found it years later. It's probably a hide of bed from the 70s. Could have been that fucking missing mafia guy. Who knows? Who? Who? Jimmy Hoffa? Yeah, Hoffa. that's what happened to him. Are you kidding me? There's no, there's no way it's Jimmy Hoffa. You know how fucking long they've been looking for that motherfucker? Wouldn't that be awesome? How much money was poured well, into the investigation? Well, you'd never find him. He's pulled up a fucking hide a bed. Be a bad news story. He's <laughs> down on a fucking hide a bed sofa. <laughs> the side of the road. Jimmy wow. Hoffa was found today. Contact the family. <laughs> he wasn't killed after all. He no. fucked up. He passed out and got folded up in a sofa bed. Wow. And he was in the dump for the last fuck thirty five years. <laughs> That's fun. I bet it happens all the fucking time. 
Oh, well, well, next time you go to a fucking flea market, you're thinking about buying a hide bed you should unfold the fucking thing first. That's all I'm saying. Well, I would anyway, Ricky, just in case there's something else in there. I wouldn't unfold it to make sure there wasn't a human like skeleton. What? what else would be in the, the bed? Well, you'd want to unfold it just dog. to make sure there wasn't a dog or... A chinchilla. See, that's just buzz. Or, you, you know... Some... like Ricky now. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody might play a prank. It could be full of shitty diapers. You get it home, you open it up, and boom. I can see, like, maybe a guinea pig or something, but I don't know. Let's I just can move see, on. I know people that would do that as a trek. What, fill stuff they Yeah, fill a hide bed with shitty diapers and take okay, it to the flea market. I thought you had guinea pigs. No. That wouldn't be a very nice thing to do to those pigs. They're not pigs. <laughs> well, fuck off. Guinea pigs. Well, there's a pig. Huh. What? You bang pigs. I'm just saying I'm hungry. If Ricky lived on a farm, he would definitely be banging the pigs. That's a weird thing to say. Oh, you're weird. Remember that time you ate a guinea pig, Ricky? Because you thought it was like a little bacon eater? <sighs> I did eat a guinea pig. I'm not proud of it. Did you know he ate a guinea pig? I know pig? he ate a Because you thought pig. it would be like mini bacon. I thought it was fried. like a miniature pig, and all parts would taste like a pig. No. Did you eat the whole thing? Not the head. Oh, God. Fuck. You deep fried him. Sick. You deep fried him. Ate him like a little beer, snack. A little beer batter. Oh, you beer battered him? <laughs> nice. I didn't know you beer battered him. Fuck, I just had a flashback, boys. What? I didn't finish my tall boy from last night. What the fuck is that? It's tall boy. Homemade. <laughs> well, you drink this side, and then you flip it over, and you open this side. Right? You tape two beers together. Yeah, it's, you just need one hand, then. You got two beers. Ricky, that's... Why would you want to do that? Ricky, why wouldn't you just have two, two separate beer. beers? No, but just... Because then you got to hold fucking both hands. Right now, I can do whatever I want. I can fucking dance or punch no, people. No, but you could set this one down. You wouldn't have to hold the two of them. If the other one's not open, it's why would you for, hold it? It's more for when you're going outside and you're walking around, right? Going for a little walk, you finish this one. I know, but the whole time you're drinking this Flip one, it. you're shaking the piss out of this one. So when you open this one, it's going to be all... Oh, no, it, you're foam, doing this it does and... foam up a little bit, but it's not bad. It's worth it. It's fucking awesome. So you're two-fisting with one fist. Is that the theory? I think they should sell them like that. You're double-fisting with one fist. They're not going to sell them like, I like that. that. You know that's, what? That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good slogan, too. Double-fist it with one fist. Siley's Beer Twins. Siley's Beer Twins. That's a, it's fucking, that's ridiculous, Ricky. Why would you put the effort into taping it together? Breakfast is a fucking pretty liquid and smoky this morning. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You got any other fuck, funny facts? Yes, I do. Listen to this one. The 2020 Olympics might have skateboarding and surfing, and they're talking about, you know, taking suggestions for other categories. Oh, fuck. What are you thinking? Well, I was thinking you probably should submit, you know, joint rolling. That would never That's not really a sport. It could be. Yeah, I guess so. Competitive joint rolling. It's not really that physically demanding, I guess. Well, no, I guess it's, not. It's I not mean, really a sport. So I guess most, not. most Olympic athletes are, you know. So the only problem with surfing, though, is then the Olympics always has to be on the fucking ocean, right? It's going to fuck over a lot of places. There's no surf. I don't know how they deal with that. Yeah, that's that's a weird one. They probably build a wave pool, one of those surf pools, you know, where the water's shooting by and you just surf in one spot. They wouldn't do that, Bubs. They might. They wouldn't think about it. Well, they'd have to put sharks and shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they no, they they wouldn't. built a fucking they, surf tank. Why they're would they not going to build a surf tank for the Olympics, boys? That's why most people. Well, how are they going to do it? Then? They can control the fucking waves and shit, man. Like a lot yeah. of people watch surfing, hoping that a fucking shark is going to come into play, fuck one of them over. <laughs> He's, people are watching because they hope people will get munched on by a shark. No, He's I'm not saying that. But you want to see a fin in the background and say, "Holy fuck, those guys are crazy." Oh, God. Extra dangerous. So when you're watching surfing, you're looking for fins. I think it's a lot more challenging if you're dealing with fucking sharks, killer whales, maybe even seals. Seals. Well, yes, it would be more challenging. I'll give you that. No question. It's more challenging to concentrate if you got a fucking great white nipping at your heels. Yeah, it would suck. So 
I think they are going to build a wave tank. Otherwise, how the fuck are they going to have the Olympics anywhere other than on the coast? Just I, like this one. Not just the coast. Big I, fucking surf coast. I have no fucking idea, okay? You're looking at me for answers. Well, you brought I have it no up. Idea. You're the one saying we're fucked. Surf tank. Okay, they're going to build a surf tank. With sharks. Without so sharks. Whales, seals. Harmless sharks. Toothless sharks. Why even put them in, Ricky, if there's no threat? If they're not, you know, no chance they're going to eat you, what, are they just going to come lick you? Right. Gnaw on you? Gum you? Plus, why are you even, like, you continuing to talk about this shit? Like, it, let's just end it. They're not going to put sharks in the fucking Olympic shark or surf tank. Toothless sharks? Toothless ones. I'd love to yeah. fight a toothless shark. Oh, my fuck. Right? Okay, we'll move on, but. No, just wait now. I would like Whoops. to address this that was just brought up. I think you said I'd like to fight a toothless shark. <laughs> well, I would fight one. Fight him how? Oh, well, whatever it took. He's going to need a bit of water, so if I go waist deep, and he can come at me. I mean, he's still got a tough nose. He can come at you from far away and probably still hurt you a little bit. So you're going to be standing out of the water, punching <laughs> into the water, beating the fuck out of a toothless shark. I would, I don't know, I wouldn't hurt him or anything. But I'd wrestle him. Maybe ride him around. Oh, you'd wrestle him. He's trying to, like, choke him out, maybe? I would love to see that. That'd be pretty fucked up. I mean, if it was toothless, it'd be pretty funny. But r really, really fucked. And highly unlikely, Rick. <laughs> I like these fun facts. Let's move on. I think they're fun, too. Oh, yeah, this year's not a fun fact, but... This here's a funny one. Where is it? I just read it. Oh, fuck. I hope it doesn't make me laugh. Again. No, you're going to love it, Ricky. Actually, I'm uh, listen sober. to this. I'm sober again now. A too high Ohio man called 911 and was found among Doritos and Chips Ahoy cookies. He's 22. He got too fucked up. Couldn't and, feel his hands. Okay. I was going to say I've been there, done that, but I wasn't that fucked up. Couldn't feel his hands. Called 911. Police came and found him covered in... Doritos and Pepperidge Farms, goldfish. That's that's a fucking strong indica. He hadn't eaten in a while and it fucked him. But didn't that happen to Randy? Sativa. Back when he was like 13, 13, 14? Yeah, I don't think, I think he was just pretending. He was looking no. for an excuse to say that he ate everything in the house. So he said he got too baked. I don't think he was even baked. No. Huh? He was just was more embarrassed that he ate, you know, I don't even know how 17 news. bags of chips. That happens in fucking every town in every city fucking once or twice a week. What does? That fucking stupid fact. That's pretty stupid, Bob. That happens everywhere, man. Well, okay. Fuck you, then. You look up some stuff. At least I'm putting some effort into it. <sighs> oh, gosh. Sakes. Oh, this is about Playboy. Do you know what's happening there? Oh, what I yeah, know. I'm... What the fuck, eh? I'm not a big fan what? of that. You have to said no more full nude ladies in Playboy anymore. He's shutting down the... What? Yeah, know, he's, that's it, man. It's all about the articles inside and shit. He's shutting down the beef shots. Yeah. Hmm. And, I mean, I, I mean, have you guys ever read anything in, in those magazines? I haven't, really. It's just all... I've like, read all kinds of stuff. I'm a good reader. You weren't reading anything in Playboy. Fuck off. I read most of the articles. Okay. Most of the articles in Playboy. You're lying. Like, of all time? Long. You've read hundreds of thousands of articles. I don't know how many it was. I took a good stab at it. Are you thinking about the cartoons, maybe? Those two, yeah. You didn't read anything. Boys, when I go to jail, I read a lot. Why are you lying, Ricky? <sighs> what else we got, bud? Anything? Because I don't know much about any of that stuff. Oh, about the... Uh, this one's for Canada. Did you see that uh, Tory candidate out west? No way. She's talking about the, she's running for, you know, government, conservatives. Yeah. She's talking about oil spills, and she said, well, fuck, it's no big deal if there's an oil spill. Oil comes from the earth, so it's just going back to where it came from. No big deal. It's a big oil spill. It's true. See, are you kidding me? Makes a lot of sense when you think about it. It all these people are fucking all oh, fucking so worried about these oil spills. Where's oil come from, boys? Well, it comes from the ground, Ricky. Right. We're talking so, thousands of fucking feet. It's not like it's like water. Water comes fucking shooting out of the earth, and then 
it lands on the earth, it goes back into the earth. And what is it when it goes back down? Water again. Oh, fuck, Ricky. No, man, it's oil. It's going to be like... But where does the oil come from? It comes from the earth, Ricky, but it comes from, say, that's the fucking earth right there, this Pringles can. Mm -hmm. Say there's the top crust where everybody lives. The oil's down here. All right. So you're sucking it way up here. Adding a bunch of shit to it, chemicals and whatnot, yep. and then you're just spilling her right here. But then what happens? It's gonna go right back down to here eventually, right where it began its life. No. Man. And I heard Billy Dixon. He had to drill his fucking well almost two kilometers down. <laughs> so <What? laughs> oh, yeah. that water shot out of the earth and. Same Billy. fucking principles, boys. When did fucking Billy Dixon dig a two kilometer deep well, Ricky? That's... And how would he do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rick. Billy Dixon couldn't fucking drill five feet into the earth, let alone <laughs> two fucking kilometers. Are you kidding me? That guy's a fucking knob. <laughs> All right. Okay, I fucked that up. Holy shit. Billy Dixon's Dixon. only got one arm. He's Billy fucked. Dixon's only got one arm, Ricky. Why don't See, you pick Billy Dixon? This is the point where most people are like, fuck. Should I would have grabbed another beer? <laughs> it's Ricky. Boom. I know, but when this one runs out, you still gotta go to the fridge and get a beer. And the other shitty part that I hate to admit is it's very top heavy now. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. It's flaws. just a, it's a dumb idea, man. It's one of the flaws with the... Uh, Unless you crush the, the bottom can, which you could probably... Well, no, then it's not going to set at all. No, you could crush you that. You should so. have a weighted ball in the bottom, and when you're finished, oh, give me the mechanism second. releases what? it, the ball goes down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do this. Oh, fuck. Crush the fucking thing. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah, that's brilliant. Move oh, there, Julian. Oh, yeah, just now you gotta drink it faster, okay? See, this is fucked. This is a fucked idea, plan. man. All right? Stupid. Or, pluck this little baby into this little guy. Holy fuck. <clears throat> Jesus, Ricky, you have a whole new idea here. You watch. All right, look at that. And you can, just, you can almost keep your hand down at your side now, right? And you got chips when you get hungry. That's right. You know what, if they need the Pringles where you open them down here, you know, yeah. and the chips come out like a little, a little side upside feed. down pass, you know what I mean? And then you'd have your beer and your chips. Yeah. There's no way they'd do that, man. See, you know what we should do? Call up fucking Wackerly, tell him we're coming to Dragon's Den. He'll say smoke another one, that's what he's gonna say. He's gonna no, say fucking, fucking sign me up. No, he's not, man. For the fucking beer and chipinator. Fuck, I thought that was a towel. <clears throat> Get Wackerly on the phone right now. That is gonna make us a million dollars. That. I'm not. I'm not talking with that stupid idea, man. I will not. Beer holder chip dispenser. It's a good. I mean, people might try it, but it's. What fun. would it be called, Ricky? Me and you are going 50-50 on this. Beer holder chip dispenser. What do you want to call it? I need another joint for that, but you know what? I'm not feeling it. What do you mean? You mean like you have to fucking peel open and... Yeah, you just have a little tab right. there and go... Boys. And then the chips, you yeah, know, like are ejected on a spring. I think I can, I can, think I can gotta, work with it. We gotta stop talking about this we gotta end this, okay? We're done. What do you mean we're I'm done? I'm done. I don't want to talk about Pringle. Well, cans. some people can't see. What We've only been talking right for five fucking hear. minutes. I just woke up five minutes ago. We've been... It's been a half hour. Bullshit. Julian, I don't think it's been that long. It's been a half well, hour, man. I'm telling you. All right, well, I'm going the fuck back to bed then. No? Well, we need a big zinger for the finale. Got nothing. You should sing something. Sing something sing. from the heart. When do I ever sing, man? I don't well, that's sing. what I mean. This would be a very special thing it's if we not, ended it with I'm, you you're singing. You're not going to get me singing. I'm Lampy. Sing us a song, Lampy. No. All right, we're done then. Just wait, See you later. wait, just wait. We're not done quite yet. Ricky. Mm-hmm. How are you doing under there, bud? Mm-hmm. He's fucked. Ricky! 
Ta-da. That's it.